How's it going, everyone? Here we've got a little search. Got uh, got the tools, the toothpick, Damascus steel, coin rolls, ready to go. So um, hopefully you've been having a great day. Things have been going well for you. And uh, let's see what we've got right here. Let's start with... Um, let's start with the... <laughs> I'm not sure where to start. Oh, any, many, money, mo. We'll just go the 50, 50 cent rolls. So, 1993. I'm hoping for 1993 today. Let's uh, let's do a deep dive on that. Well, a fairly shallow dive, but one million mintage on a 1993, and um, $3.50 to $35 is a recent selling price range on one of those coins. So, let's see if we're lucky enough to find a 1993 right here. Two Bob, how's it going? Seventy nine. Let's check for a double bar behind the emu's head. No, not there. Ray Chris, hey Michael, it's been rainy here in the Philippines. We are still in signal no four due to a typhoon. Okay, oh that's no good. Um, yeah, okay, so it's like typhoon, typhoon type type weather. It sounds pretty hectic. Um, hopefully everyone's safe and that um, it doesn't eventuate like that. Yeah. Hey, mate. G'day, Magic. How's it going? Two thousand and one. Let's see if this one's a centenary of federation. Boom. Ooh, no, that's the uh, Australia coat of arms. So unfortunately, not the state or territory ones. Mate, do you do notes? I have notes. I have I collect bank notes. Yeah, but I don't search through them like I do sort of coins like this. Um, yeah, but there are some that are worth a fair amount of money. They're cool. I like bank notes. Key shop hype. How's it going? Five cent coins. Blake, how much would you say a printing error on a ten dollar be worth? Oh, I've got no idea. No, yeah, it depends on what it is and how significant the error is. Um, yeah, but if you jumped on eBay and searched up similar to what you've got, you might see someone else that has sold something recently that is like what you have got. So that gives you a bit of an idea on what people are currently willing to pay. Awesome, thanks. Nice. Ray Chris says my garden is ruined because the typhoon named. Okay. Oh, hopefully the garden bounces back nicely. Darko, not a clue, is going on a bit. I love watching these lives. Cool, cool. Awesome. Appreciate you being here. Nineteen seventy-two five-cent coin is a lower mintage coin. Now this one is not in great condition, but five dollars to fifteen dollars is a recent selling price range on them. Even like this, I'll still hold on to it. That's um, yeah, cool. Uh, what's the most you've made from a rare or missing stamped coin? Uh, I've sold a couple of coins for $300, a couple of 20 cent coins for $300 each. Appreciate the, the likes, people tapping the screen. Check the 2015s, you can get a, a missing SD. So down below the five, there's a little SD there. You can just see it. But uh, sometimes it's totally missing on a 2015. And $15.70 is a recent selling price range on one of those. Thousand and five. Look for the flamingo error. A little bit of extra metal down the bottom here. G'day. Oh, thanks, Ray Chris, for the gift. I uh, appreciate that. Uh, 
I uh, appreciate the rose. Thanks, corn. Uh, Indy says, oh, sorry, I didn't see your question until now. Uh, what do you think about the CBA restricting use to only business accounts? I know you use Westpac. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm not too sure. I don't know, like, I don't know the sort of back end of um, how, yeah, I don't sort of know too much, I suppose. I don't know the details as to the reason behind it, like how significant, how much coinage was sort of being uh, taken out and put back through the coin deposit machines. I'm not too sure, so I haven't really got a strong opinion on it. But yeah, I mean, yeah, it's people's money. Like it's their money; they got access to it and stuff like that. And but um, yeah, they've obviously got reasons. But yeah, I don't really have a strong opinion. Probably because of Newling, maybe. Yeah, yep. All right, this 2019 five cent coin with a necklace on the Queen. A bit of a lower mintage date, so I'll just check my coin list. I think the figures have changed on this. But I'll just uh, have a look on the list of them. Yeah, two million mintage. Yeah, that sort of changed just recently. So only two million of these coins were minted. A dollar sixty to three dollar sixty. When will the king start? Not too sure. I'm not too sure. But um, someone told me maybe about October this year. Two thousand and fifteen. Check for a missing SD. Not on that one. Hello, how's it going? Um, all right, here we go. Let's do a twenty cent roll. Twenty cent roll, ten cent roll, one dollar roll. All set. Here we go. Scott, I've got a roll of fifty cent nineteen eighty two com games in mint condition. No, nice. Uh, going right, I'm not too sure here, yeah, I don't know. If you jumped on eBay and searched that up and filtered your search to sold items, you'd probably come across some um, recent selling prices. Yeah, that would give you a fair idea. Do you have a favourite coin? No, not really. Like maybe from a different country. One of my favourite coins is this one here. It's a two pence coin from 1797. And it was one of the first coins brought across to Australia and sort of used as a bit of coinage in Australia. So it's a big thick coin, a two ounce coin. So um, pretty thick. It's one of my favorites. Watching TikTok live at 4 a.m. <laughs> okay, nice. Good stuff. Uh, what is the value of one donation dollar? Yeah, I found one just before actually. So this is a donation dollar. Depends which year, but this is a this is a 2021 donation dollar. A dollar seventy to seven dollars on these. Um the twenty twenty donation dollars, a dollar ninety to six dollars. So around about that sort of range, six to seven or eight dollars. Holy dump, yeah, holy dollar and dump, that'd be awesome, yeah. Michael, imagine carrying a few of those in your pocket change, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. A couple of those big, thick, chunky number coins that um, wouldn't be too kind on the wallet. 2008, look for the wave gap. What's your rarest coin? I don't know, I don't know what my rarest coin is. Got some coins... Um, that um, are going to arrive in a little bit, so I'll share a couple of those. What do you do with the common coins? I just take them back to the bank and I put them through the coin deposit machine at the bank, which puts the money back in my bank account. It'd be a good workout, yeah. Carrying lots of heavy coins. Yeah, coin purses would definitely come back in style. How long have you been doing this? About five or six years. Uh, what does JC mean on the coins instead of SD? JC stands for Jody, uh, Jody Clark. Jody Clark is a man too, a man that designed that um, effigy of the queen. And SD stands for Stuart Devlin. Coin deposit machines working again? I don't know, Nikki. Um, I haven't been back since last week when I went and three different bank branches, their coin deposit machines were down, not working. So fingers crossed the next time I go back, they're, they're going all right. 
sneak odds when we go cashless reckon those coins will still be worth something i uh, yeah you know if we go cashless look very similar to uk ones i didn't expect that yeah okay australian coins does the jc have low mintage it depends on the year and it depends on the denomination yeah it depends on which one some are high mintage some are low mintage all right 10 cent coins looking for 85s 2011s 91s 97s so the, some of the ones i'm looking for anyway a few others to look for luke can they ever go can they ever go true catchless when it's all legal tender though i suppose they could if they pass laws and stuff like that but um yeah but don't think it'll happen for a little bit Oh, here we go. Change over 10 cent coin from 2016. Found one of these yesterday too. A dollar ten to four dollars. Cool. Uh, I don't think we'll ever really go cashless. Says someone. Digital currency is convenient, but solid coinage is. Might be a little bit of extra on that more reliable trustworthy yeah sort of pardon me agrees with that how do you get those rolls to unpack how do you even get into this uh, just from the bank get these from the bank but only some bank branches stock coins in rolls so it's just a matter of trying to find the banks near where you are yeah and then just go to the bank and get some coins out so you can either exchange bank notes for coins or if you've got a bank account with the branch just have it deducted from your bank account and then bring the coins home and search through them I've got coin lists through the link in my TikTok account if you want to know what I'm searching for and uh, what they can sell for and things like that. Um, sorry, I misheard, but what are you looking for in the 91s, 97s? They're just lower mintage, meaning that they didn't make as many in those years. The 1985s, 2011s, 91s, 97s. Yeah, they're just lower mintage coins. Is it easier to sell them at that price? Oh, to it just depends. I haven't really been focused personally myself on selling recently, but um, it sort of comes down to marketing, like how good are you at marketing and the photos, your title, description, looking at the people who are selling a lot of things, what are they doing? It's just like anything, like any business that there's lots of burger joints around and what makes the more successful burger joints who sell a lot of things more successful? Like is it the advertising? What are they putting into getting the customers? So it's not just a matter of, putting a coin on a site like eBay and it just met selling straight away. Um, yeah, you have to put a little bit of effort in and, and actually look at how to, yeah, sort of get the attention and of the people who are looking to buy them. All right, all right, here we go. One dollar roll. really shiny coins although that second coin looks a little bit fresher doesn't it let's have a look at this right here 2017 get a bit of zoom in on that can't see any errors on there I uh, never knew there were people who search through coins for mistakes or just rare coins to sell yeah yep yeah there's lots of coin collectors coin collecting has been around for a long time like it's the they say it's the um, hobby of kings because it's for thousands of years. Um, kings and stuff like that, really wealthy people have collected valuable coins. So it's been a hobby for a while. Uh, what got you interested in looking for rare misprinted low mintage coins? I found a coloured $2 coin here in Australia a few years ago. And um, I heard them talking on the radio about the particular coin that I, I got. And um, they said they're worth about $6 to coin collectors. And I found that quite interesting that a $2 coin is worth $6 to someone. So that sparked my interest and the rest is history. And yeah, I did a bit of research and watched videos and learning and created my coin lists that um, I refer to all the time. Will you be back tomorrow? Yes, I will be back tomorrow. Ever find something really expensive? Yeah. Yep. Oh, well, what, what do you, what do you um, consider really expensive? 
everyone's idea of expensive is probably a bit different. Magic, I found an E for Emi $1 yesterday. Awesome. Ah, oh, congratulations, good stuff. I think I found an E for Emu. What did I find? I found one. I found this one, a D for Dingo, just the other day. What else? I thought I found an E for Emu as well. Or maybe I saw a video. Maybe I saw your video. I'm not too sure. Have you made a video of it? Because I saw someone who found an E for Emu. Sam, I found a $2, 1988. Yeah, they made a lot of those, 161 million of them. Uh, I'm pretty sure that in my country, coin collecting doesn't exist. Oh, which country are you from? Um, I'm sure it would by some people. Find any Anzac stuff lately, Michael. Think the first stream of yours I ever caught, you found some. Um, oh, like I found an Anzac coin earlier today, but um, it's just a 2014, so it's a high mintage coin. Melbourne, Serbia, okay, yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure there'd be collectors in Serbia as well, coin collectors. Now, the $2,001 coin, you look for a double rim on this side of the coin. One of those sold for $6,900 a few years ago, but um, most of them sell for a rim in the sort of the $200 to $600 sort of price range because they're sort of worn. But uh, yeah, definitely look for the $1 mule coin. What years are the low mintage? Oh, there's lots of different low mintage years. I've got coin lists through the link in my TikTok account of all the things I'm looking for. So I'll sort of show you just briefly. I can't sort of zoom in too much, but these are the coin lists that I refer to. So these are all the $2 coins I'm looking for. $1 coins, 50 cent coins, 20 cent coins, 5 cent coins, and 10 cent coins. So yeah, I put them on the wall there so I can just refer to them quickly. And um, I researched the recent selling prices so I can um, know it know very quickly roughly what they're worth all right that's the end of that little search let's have a look at some of the things i've put aside from that little search and go over it so it 2019 five cent coin got the necklace on there and it's got the jc on the shoulder stands for jody clark jc jody clark the man who designed designed this effigy of the queen cool uh, what have we got okay, tracy how's it going sam so pretty much you can control the price um i don't control the price i've researched the recent selling price range so yeah, I don't control I don't control the prices that um, that they sell for. It's just, this is what this, it's not what I'm selling the coins for. It's what they've been selling for on places like eBay. So I look at all of the sales and look at the one that sold for the cheapest amount, one that sold for the most expensive amount for individual coins, and and then put a range in there. So just sort of sharing with people what they've been selling for. Oh, right, a 2010. Oh, sorry, a 10 cent coin from 2016, the changeover coin. Got a 1972 five cent coin. Now this is a low mintage coin, but this one in this condition isn't great, but $5 to $15 is a recent selling price range on a 1972 five cent coin. Um, oh, and I found these actually in a roll before the stream. And this one's just in good condition. It's a higher mintage coin, but any coin in good condition is worth holding on to, in my opinion. <laughs> I think most people agree with that. Um, donation dollar, this is a donation dollar from 2021. So they did the donation dollars in 2020 and 2021. So there we go, a few few coins to be holding on to there. I'll just check out a few comments. Sorry if I've missed your question or comment. Uh, the buyers control the price, really. That's right, yeah. Is it what someone is willing to pay? Yeah, so I just look at the sold items to, yeah, sort of looking for the proof of what people are buying them for because that's what they're worth. Like it's what it's only what someone's willing to pay, yeah. Lee, is there much coins to collect in Scottish coins? Never looked into it much. I'm sure there would be, but I don't really know. Yeah, I don't really know much about coins overseas. Uh, let's come back through some of the comments here. What's the best way to sell them, mate? They take ages on eBay. Um, I haven't really been personally focused on selling coins um, myself, yeah. So like on eBay, that they could take a while because there's probably a lot more people into selling things. But having a look at 
the people who are selling lots of coins. So have a look at the sold items. So if you've got a coin that you want to sell and look it up and then filter your search to sold items and have a look at the people that have been selling them recently and have a look at their listings, have a look at their titles, what they're um, writing the description, look at the photos that they're using. They might be promoting their listings. You can maybe even message them. You can send a little message to them just asking kindly if they might be able to share, share some tips or something like that. They might not because it's like you're the competition. But um, yeah, so it's sort of learning from the people who are who are selling them so that you can pick up some tips there. But um, yeah, there's, there's also Facebook groups. Um, yeah, and you can probably build a bit of a profile on social media and stuff like that. And yeah, maybe offer things at prices and stuff like that on social media as well. How much is a donation dollar coin worth? Um, depends on the year, but the 2020 donation dollars, a dollar ninety to six dollars, and the 2021 donation dollars, a dollar seventy to seven dollars. Okay, Dylan. Is there an auction online? Oh, there might be. Um, there's different. Yeah, I don't know. Like I've only really sort of personally focused on eBay, so. And when I sell on eBay, I just sort of sell it at a buy it now price and have offers open to people. If people want to send in an offer that's maybe a little bit under, you could have a look at it and do counter offers and things like that. Are you part of any specific Facebook groups? No, I'm not not on I'm personally not on Facebook myself. Is there any good Irish coins that you know of that I could collect? I don't know if there are. I'm not too sure. Yes, yeah, sorry. Yeah, I'm in Australia, so I'm not really sure. How long off camera do you spend looking at coins and researching them? Oh, it depends on the week. Like each each month I research the recent selling prices. I usually do that towards the end of the month for my coin lists. And there's lots of people who who get my monthly coin list subscription or just buy the coin list um, outright on a once-off payment. So I do that sort of towards the end of the month to research all the prices of the coins that are on my list. But um, I search coins on live streams like this, but... Outside the live streams, I just do a few, maybe a few rolls each day, um, videos that I sort of put onto social media as well. Calvin, I'm new here. Nice one, nice. I just searched there are collector coins in Serbia. With my luck, I would find rare one and lost it. <laughs> That's all right, we're just going to keep searching. We've probably all had rare coins in our possession and, and used them to buy things and had no idea that they're worth a fair amount of money, so... Nothing new to that one, yeah. But you always re you always miss one hundred percent of shots you don't take. So if you're not searching and you're, you're never going to find them, so you might as well sort of do a little bit of learning and know what to look for, and then you're not not going to miss them from then on. What's the ten cent? The ten cent here is a it's referred to like in the collecting circles a change over ten cent coin. So it commemorates 50 years since Australia changed from pre-decimal currency to decimal currency. So in 1966, Australia, before 1966, it was pennies, half pennies, shillings, pounds. And then in 1966, Australia changed to decimal currency like cents and dollars. So this commemorates 50 years since that happened. And that was a design on, the, I think, the three pence coin uh, that was in Australia. But there's also a few others. I'll just see if I've got the five cent coin had a design. This is a five cent changeover coin. So that design there was on the pennies and half pennies. And there's a few others as well. Um, I wonder if I've got, I've got a little case here. I think this has got a one dollar changeover coin. Yes, that's the one dollar changeover coin. These are quite quite hard to find, quite rare, these ones here. Um, so I'll just check the figures on these. So only 560,000 of these were made. So $16 to $43 for this particular $1 coin. Yeah, the changeover $1 coin. Lark says, I think I'm thinking of starting to collect coins, but I don't know much about it. But your videos help. That's good. Awesome. Where will you put the coins you collected today? Just into my collection, um, either in folders or some. I've got a fair few coins to sit on my desk just uh, in piles, so some of them were just going to piles on my desk, and um, yeah, so I can sort of look at them, appreciate them, but um, yeah, I've got, got lots of different places I put them, depending on which coins they are. It's cool. Hey, Michael, g'day, Jeremy. I find some social media groups can be a bit toxic. 
watching these streams are more enjoyable. Yeah, I must admit, when I first sort of started um, learning about coins to collect and things like that, I did join a Facebook group and just to learn a fair bit, so ask questions and see what other people are finding and just learn a fair bit. And some of the people on in the group, I was a little bit shocking actually, like so rude and stuff like that. So um, once I'd learnt what I sort of needed to learn, um, I actually hopped off the group because of for that sort of reason. So yeah, I understand what you mean by that. So just, but then it's just a matter of focusing on making sure you're respectful to people, using your manners and stuff like that in the in the Facebook groups. Just making sure you're doing the right things, and just trying to ignore the people who are just really rude. Yeah. How many change over one dollar coins do you have? Oh, do I have? Um, I don't really know. Um, as of a guess, maybe about ten or so. Yeah. Nice one. Where do you get the rolls? A lot of banks only let businesses get theirs now. Yeah. Um, yeah, it depends on the bank branches if they stock coins in rolls. And I think the CBA, the Commonwealth Bank, have made it harder again for, for people who are searching for coins too. So, um, yeah, probably other bank branches. What makes a coin valuable to collectors? So price is usually driven by supply and demand. So... Um, yeah, if the supply is low, then the prices will be high. If the demand is high, the prices are high. And if the supply is low and the demand is high, the prices get higher and higher. So um, supply and demand drives price, yeah. Are you live around this time each day? No, it just depends on the day and the time of the day. Like, I, it just depends on what I'm doing each day. Just sort of fit it in when it's sort of convenient for what's going on in my day. So I know that's not really that helpful for people, but, um, yeah, it's just... Um, yeah, what um, sort of suits and what's going on with my daily stuff. I'm going to keep, I'm going to go, but keep the good work up. Yep, no worries. You have a good one. How much are those cars worth now? Pretty big price range on them because any coin in really good condition can get up there really high in price. So the Coros... Uh, the purple coronation coins forty dollars to three hundred and twenty-five dollars is a recent selling price range. So one sold for three twenty-five must have been in perfect condition. But yeah, forty dollars to three twenty-five. What are those big coins? They're all fifty-cent coins. Uh, not sure what other coins you might be referring to there. Yeah, they're all fifty-cent coins. Yeah, Australian fifty-cent coins. How much is the green one worth? Oh, someone was asking about the green donation dollar. Um, this one's a 2021 donation dollar. Between $1.70 and $7 is a recent selling price range on those. Appreciate that, Sam. Thank you. Uh, Devin, my good sir, may we please see a full Aussie coin hunt collection? Um, I've got... I've got one, I think, up here on the shelf. I'll just grab it and I'll bring it down here. So I've got a few of them. So I've tried it. I've got two sets. Well, I'm trying to make two sets of each. This is the 2022 Great Aussie Coin Hunt. And you can see there's a fair few gaps in this one. Uh, but this 2022 set is just about complete, I think. There's just one letter I'm missing down here. So I'm just missing one of those. That's the 2022s and the 2021s. So that one, is that a complete set? Looks like it. Ooh, the sheet's falling apart. And then that's the second set, but I'm missing one or two from the second set of the 2021s. Or or even more than that. <laughs> and then um, this is a 2019 Great Aussie Coin Hunt. So for those who are wondering, this is um, Great Aussie Coin Hunt. One, a letter from each letter of the alphabet has an Aussie icon type thing. So B for boomerang, C for cricket, D for didgeridoo, and so on. So each letter of the alphabet, so 26 coins, and you have to try and find them all. So I've been trying to find them from circulation. And this is the complete set that I found from circulation of Great Aussie Coin Hunts from uh, 2019, there you go. Would you consider a coin from 1752 rare and valuable? Depends, no, not necessarily. Depends on the condition of the coin and how many they made, how many are available. Where are the plastic sheets from? I got them years ago. 
just from AliExpress. I just sort of looked them up on AliExpress, I think it was. Is the first Great Aussie Coin Hunt worth much? I have a full set uncirculated. I don't know specifically the prices. I'd have to sort of look at the prices now, but I, they're probably, I'd say between about, oh, between about, say, $45 and $80 or something like that. Yeah, somewhere in that range, probably. Ethan, do you have any cool $2 coins? Yeah, I do. Yeah, thank you. No worries. Cool, cool, cool. Well, I might sort of leave it there. So um, I hope you all have a great day. And um, yeah, might be on with another live stream tomorrow. I probably will be on with a live stream tomorrow, but I don't know exactly what time. G'day, Nelly, how's it going? Just uh, just wrapping things up. But um, yeah, have a great day on a great night, a great morning, wherever you are in the world. And um, might see you again tomorrow. Cool, cool. All right, catch you later. Bye.